Hi and welcome to the channel, Adam here, and I've bought a new toy. It's a BBC Micro. Now I've read some things online about these whereby there's three specific capacitors in the power supply that tend to let the smoke out. So the first thing I'm going to do before powering on my new toy is change these capacitors. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So that all went well and the BBC is working fantastically. The only thing is I need some way of loading games. Now I do have a floppy drive with my Beeb, only I do not have any floppy disks yet. So how else can I load some games? Well, I saw this little device on eBay. It's just under a tenner and it's called the Micro SPI. It plugs into the user port and allows you to read games off an SD card. Now, when you install this, you're also gonna to have to open up your BBC and install a small ROM chip in there. So let's go ahead and do this now.
When I opened up my BBC, I noticed that all of the ROM sockets were full. Hmm, what to do, I thought. I tried removing the expansion board and uh, a bunch of ROMs I didn't think were necessary and put in the SPI ROM. Hmm, didn't work. Okay, what next? Put it all back together and just make sure it works the way it was set up originally. It did work, fantastic. What next? Hmm, in that case, remove the ROM chip that controls the floppy drive. Check, insert SPI ROM chip. Check, power on, all working, fantastic. Let's give it a go. Now that the micro SPI is installed, let's take it for a spin. Press shift break and it boots into this menu. Let's scroll through some of the games. As you can see, there's lots of pages of games. I'm going to go for Cosmic Asteroids. Let's give it a go. Z to rotate left, X to rotate right. Shift is thrust, return is fire and space is Hyperspace. Let's take it for a run. Come on. Now this is the type of game that was available when I was a small boy. As you can see, lots has changed in the world of computer games. Ah, no! Oh, I almost died. Hyperspace. I missed hyperspace. So how does hyperspace work? You will see when I press the space button. When I press the space bar, I disappear and reappear somewhere else. Can, can be quite risky as you've seen. I've just appeared in the vicinity of an asteroid. after this last one okay and it just starts again but with more rocks okay so that was cosmic asteroids let's see what else there is I like space invaders so let's have a look for that Space invaders, joystick no. So tab key to move left, Q key to move right, and let's go. S start. I'm going to go amateur, and I'm going to go one player. This is a lot different from the version that I had on the VIC-20 when I was a small boy. Seems to be a lot slower than the version on Spectrum as well. However, there does seem to be a lot more bullets falling from the sky. Oh, I just drove into that one. Okay. Another tactic, I don't know how good it really is, but people used to shoot through the house like this. As long as you didn't get a bullet coming right down on your hole, it tended to be all right. right here. Right, let's leave that there. You get the idea. So this little device lets you have access to a whole bunch of different games. 
Well done, you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified of when new videos are uploaded. Have a good day.